There's one less uh, candidate going forward for the Tory party, but that hasn't, I'm sure, affected your campaign. How close are we now to kind of getting the final nod? Who, you know, when do we find out who the Tory candidate officially is? Uh, we should find out on the 19th, I'm okay. hoping. So the and vote's going tomorrow. So a plea to all your listeners that are Conservative members, please vote for me. I will make a brilliant mayor. Get rid of this wretched Sadiq Khan. <laughs> well, I couldn't agree more, to be honest. Uh, and I, and I, I'm certainly endorsing your, uh, uh, your aim to become the next mayor. It's about time they had a woman in the place as well. Absolutely, absolutely. You know. Enough of this enough of this kind of, you know, male hegemony nonsense. And then Sadiq <laughs> Khan has done enough damage to this city. I mean you might need to be in for twenty years to repair it all. No, no, we haven't Londoners don't have twenty years. Look at the mess he's made. I mean the the Met police under special measures, he's Sadiq Khan has let Londoners down so badly. Um we need to get in there and get it sorted out. And honestly, Mike, I really could do that and it certainly wouldn't take that long. Right. And somebody pointed out to me today that the ULES expansion plan comes into effect, I think, fairly soon. Um what can you do about that, if anything? Well, 29th of August it comes in. Uh, I shall be at the higher court as that is start, the hearing starts tomorrow. Um, please God that they find that it, it, his um, consultation was unlawful yeah. and we can get it certainly pushed back because if it's pushed back long enough, there is no way he'll then put it in too near to an election because mm. he knows it's a, an election loser. Of course it is. Nobody wants it in there. Right. It, it's a tax on, on hard-working Londoners. Disgraceful. It really is. I mean, it's hard enough to get around London, and if you want to come into the central part of it, if you're particularly... I, my, my sympathies particularly go to small businesses and people who need to deliver things, people who have to get into town to do their jobs, and yet they're yes. being punished at every single turn. That, that's right, and will of course all be punished because some people say to me, "Oh, it doesn't affect me. My car is compliant." Yeah, oh yes, it will because all these builders that live outside London and haven't got compliant yeah. vehicles are not going to come into London, or they're going to charge you the extra twelve pound fifty, which you can't blame them for. Mm. So just put the price of everything uh, sky high. But of course, Sadiq Khan doesn't care. He just wants to go ahead with whatever he decides. Doesn't care what we think. Doesn't listen to people. And all I see from, from him and the, the, the stuff that comes out of his office is all about, you know, clean air this and Rwanda that. But meanwhile, there are people being stabbed. There's been a lot of stabbings. Two killed up in Islington just the other day. Um, another stabbing um, in Tottenham where somebody um, was attacked for their scooter. You know, it's out of control, isn't it? It is, and Londoners need to feel safe. It is absolutely vital. It's, it's his, in my view, it's his main job. And of course, he's t took the, his eye off the ball a long time ago. He doesn't care. He'll just go on about something, uh, fresh air, as it were, because of his book that he's trying to sell. Yeah. He, he's got the best job in the world. He needs to roll his sleeves up and get something sorted. It should never have got into this state mm. in the first place. And are you, are you seeing any evidence, because people are always baffled outside of London as to how Sadiq Khan got re-elected, because, you know, nobody seems to have a good word to say about him, and yet, um, you know, he does keep winning elections. Is there any evidence that you can see that that kind of popularity that he has somehow is waning a bit? It's definitely waning, because Londoners are beginning to wake up to the effect that police are under special measures, the fire is under special measures, nowhere near enough houses have been built, traffic is gridlocked because of some of the ridiculous schemes he's put in, driving at 20 miles an hour down the Finchley Road, all these LTNs that are putting, pushing traffic into more and more traffic jams, which by the way isn't helping air quality. No, of course not. People are beginning to wake up to it. I would make a damn good mayor and I hope I'm being given the chance to do so. Yes. And what do you need from people? I mean, what, what, can, what can people do uh, to vote for you? What, what's the situation? Well, uh, at the moment, it's the Conservative members. There's 25,000, I believe, in London, 1,000 in London. I'm hoping that they tick my name in the box so that I become our candidate. Then I will be asking everybody to help. We have got to get together and, and put Londoners first and get rid of Sadiq Khan. Yeah, I think um, everyone listening to this show, certainly, and watching you will totally agree with you. Well, let's keep in touch.